Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given that t is greater than zero and t squared minus four is equal to zero. Given this information, we're asked what is the value of t? So starting first with t squared minus four is equal to zero, let's just find the solutions to this. Now, there's two things you can do. You can say, okay, I have a quadratic here where we have t squared plus zero t minus four is equal to zero and then you can use the quadratic formula and plug in your values for a, b, and c, where b is the coefficient for the t thing, the t term, which is zero, a is the coefficient for the t squared term, which is one, and c is your constant, which is negative four. Plug that in, you will get your values of t, but we can do that more simply just by factoring out here by noticing this is t squared minus two squared, Therefore, this is the difference of two squares. So this is equal to t plus two times t minus two. Okay, and again, if you don't notice this rule, you can do this, but this will save a lot of time if you do notice that it's the difference of two squares. So for this product to be equal to zero, t plus two has to be equal to zero, or t minus two has to be equal to zero. Subtracting put two on both sides gives us t is equal to zero minus two is negative two. And adding two for this one gives us t is equal to zero plus two, which is two. So the solutions to this equation on its own are t equals negative two and t equals two. However, we're told that t is greater than zero, which means that t is not equal to negative two. So our only solution, which is good because you can only enter one solution on the SAT, is that the value of t is two. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.